Hi, this is another video to expose and bring awareness to all the persecutions that are that Christians are facing because Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world. There is no other religion facing as much persecution as Christianity. I don't even think there's no other religion that's even close to getting the type of persecutions that Christians receive. Now, this report, if you look up here, this is Friday, April 21st, 2017. All right? And, man, check it out. Report, over 200 million Christians face persecution worldwide. Those numbers are staggering. It's ridiculous. Okay? And nobody says anything. Mainstream media, nobody covers this stuff. If they do, they don't they don't focus on it. You know, they're they're to focus on covering up all these terrorist crimes related to Islam and, and ISIS. But they don't wanna they don't wanna show this, you know, they wanna they wanna go ahead and show these these terrorist attacks that the rebels commit in Syria and then try to blame the Syrian President Assad saying that his regime committed those crimes when really is ISIS and rebels that the globalists fund and give these chemical weapons to to try to spark a, a war, try to try to get President Trump to to invade Syria, just like how they they had their their pretty much their slaves or people in their team like like Hillary Clinton and Obama to go ahead and, and, and pretty much destroy Libya and set up the 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 pawns and pieces together to s try to spark a war in Syria and destroy Syria to invade Syria just like what they did in Iraq, you know, just destabilizing the area. But all that leads to is just more persecution towards the Christians. All it is is killing the Christians and they don't report none of this stuff. If they do, they really even focus on it. So I just, man, as a Christian, I couldn't help but, but bring awareness to it, all right? So there are over 200 million Christians facing persecution worldwide. Um, global persecution of Christians has risen for the fourth year in a row and is on a rapid rise in Asia fueled by extreme religious nationalism and new report warns. And yeah, I mean, you see it in, in China and, and, you know, like in Asian countries, but also they consider Middle Eastern countries Asian as well. That's why when you look at the UK, you might have a Middle Eastern man stab somebody up or blow something up and they'll say, oh, or, or a, a Muslim person from the Middle East and they'll say it's an Asian man. And I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to do that out of political correctness. But I'm Asian. And I don't like it. You know, I'm not. Don't get me wrong. You know, when we when when you look at the Asian Cup, Asian World Cup, yeah, we we play with the Middle Easterns. You know, you might have like the finals, Korea versus Iraq or something. Yeah, so they Asian is cool. But you know, throw away political political correctness. Just say what it is. It was a Muslim dude. He went wild over his religion. Boom. Like that. You know, because when you say Asian, you think of like Asian people like like Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese, something like that. We typically don't think Middle Eastern people. So, you know, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not saying Middle Eastern people, you know, if they want to be considered Asian. That's cool. I got nothing against it. I'm all for it. That's all right. But I'm just saying, man, if it's a Muslim person that's doing these terrorist acts. Just say it for what it is. Just say it was a Muslim guy. That's it. But anyway, back to the back to the key point right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep reading. Um, religious nationalism is sweeping the globe, according to figures released today as part of the Open Doors 2017 watch list. Said Lisa Pierce, a CEO of Open Doors UK and Ireland Catholic News Agency, reported a persecution um, persecution levels have been rising rapidly across Asia and the Indian subcontinent, driven by extreme religious nationalism, which is often tactically condoned and sometimes actively encouraged by local and national governments. 
Man, that's crazy. According to a report, all top 10 countries with the worst persecutions of Christians are in Asia and Africa. All right. All right, let's look at North Korea. North Korea is still the most difficult place in the world to be a Christian, and with Somalia ranking second, followed by Afghanistan, Pakistan, the Sudan, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Yemen, um, Eritrea, the report found. So this is what I'm saying. This is what I mean. You take Somalia out, but like Afghanistan, Pakistan, Syria, Iraq, Iran, that's they consider all of that Asian. Which once again, I'm not saying none against it. I'm cool with it. But I'm saying just leave it what it is. It was a Muslim person that did it. Stop saying it's Asian. Because they think of like Chinese and Korean people or, you know, Vietnamese, Filipinos, you know, like that. So that's why it's just... Man, just throw political correctness out. Yes, it was an Asian dude. I mean, don't say it's an Asian dude. Just say it was a Muslim dude. Plain and simple. Islamic extremism is the main engine of persecution in 14 out of the most hostile 20 countries in the world watch list and 35 of the top 50. I don't understand why they don't report this. In mainstream media, in the Middle East, Christians face pressure under both radical and autocratic regimes. Yeah, true. And this is why, personally, I, I like Syrian President Assad, because he protects Christians. I heard he's a he's a Coptic Christian, a Coptic Christian or something. In other words, he's an undercover Christian. He just does, he can't publicly say it, because he's already under fire. Over 200 million Christians... In the 50 countries where it is most difficult to be a Christian, experience high levels of persecution because of their faith. And there you have it, man. There you have it. There's not enough word about this. There's not enough word about this. That's why I can't help. I just, you know, for me, I'm going to keep this 100%. And, you know, I challenge anyone if they want to doubt me, you know, they could come meet me, fly, fly out to Korea. Or if you're in Korea, just come, come meet me. Bring a lie detector test. And and ask me if I have not seen angels. And I'm going to tell you right now, in my lifetime, in my lifetime, I've, I've experienced seeing angels four, I could remember four, but five times in my life. I could remember four of those times. And the first time I ever saw an angel was before I even ever saw an angel on TV or, 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 or a piece of paper or a magazine or any of that. I just remember I saw an angel. For like a split second, I was so shocked, I blinked my eye and then the angel disappeared. But it was an image that was unforgettable. And it was so radiant and so, so, um, wow, I just, I mean, it's hard to explain. But I tell you right now, I I had that experience before I ever seen an before I ever had any memory recollection of seeing an a angel on TV or, or or some some story or any of that. I just knew it was an angel because I went to um, I was going to church at the time. This was back in elementary school when I was living in the states, and then I remember a couple months later I saw like a picture of an angel on some pamphlet. And I was like, oh man, that's that's what I saw. And I was like, yeah, I really did see an angel, you know. And remember, like I said, I'm Asian, but the angel that I saw, the hand was white. I didn't get to see the face, but I saw like the, the clothing, the wings, the hand, and it was white. The angel was white and um, yeah, had white hands. And, you know, te technically, psychologically, when you have an experience like that, if it was in my head, if it was just something that I imagined, then... I would have seen an Asian angel. It would have looked like it would have it would have looked Asian because that's you know my even though I lived in the states, my my parents, my my brother, my sister, they're all Asian. You know what I'm saying? So just naturally, if it was a natural occurrence, of something that my brain made up, I would have naturally just seen an Asian angel. It would have been Asian, but no, it was white. It was a white, like a white person. It was a white angel, white sleeves. Um, the wings, the, 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 what I've seen and witnessed was something that I never, ever seen before. And the radiance, the delight coming from it, it was so brilliant and bright and so strong and, and, and the, the, so vivid. 
that it was just something no way that that an elementary school kid could have just made up and then i had that experience more than once i had that experience five times but i could remember four of them and i and it wasn't always the same angel either and i could pass any lie detector test that that's what i've seen that's what i experienced all of that and i also had one of those god experiences too and that's why that's why i am a christian because i know what i've seen i know what i've experienced plain and simple you know what i'm saying i'm willing to die for what i've said i've seen and experienced that's it so when i see something like this and mainstream media don't they never is not is not a big issue man i i got to put it out there i got to put it out there it is what it is so um that's what this video is about all right and i will continue to make videos about how christians are the most persecuted religion in the world while mainstream media just covers it up and it's just like it's just like Pizza Gate and Pedal Gate, where all these children are getting um, sexually abused by by social and political elites, and it's all getting covered up. Same thing with Christian persecution. And that's why I did. I I I have a Pizza Gate Pedal Gate challenge. Um, you guys could look it up. Pizza Gate Pedal Gate challenge. Day one, day two, day three, whatever, and you'll see my my videos, which is on another channel, that exposes child sexual exploit exploitations by by all groups of people from all around the world and right here i'm just making this to to bring awareness to the persecution of christians that's being covered up is a serious thing all right praying for everyone's safety man praying for y'all safety um stay safe out there and 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 seek the truth that's all i gotta say all right god bless